Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is uh, the 3rd of uh, February 2013, uh, the time in London is 13.33 in London, um, okay? In New York is so 8.33 a.m. Uh, happy Sunday to you all. Uh, this video is about how to combine, okay, the Elliott Wave principle with uh, Fibonacci. All right, let's get started, okay, before it is too late. All right, we are looking at the stock uh, LLTC, Lima, Lima, Tango, Charlie, okay. The stock is a linear technology corporation, American stock, okay. And we are on the yearly chart, all right. So if you haven't watched the yearly chart for a long time, this is one for you, okay. Do not be afraid of it. So, we have here, we see that uh, linear technology was uh, bullish. There was a bullish cycle. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. You wish you catch it. So from 1991 up to 1999, okay, you see what has happened in 1999 to, 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 to 2000, to the year 2000, is uh, the tech bubbles, okay? So it was bullish for linear technology, okay? And it went up uh, uh, to $74. So there was a, a bullish cycle, a clear cut bullish cycle, okay? And you will also notice that uh, the market itself, the S&P 500 was bullish during that time because of uh, the tech bubbles. But this stock was uh, quite, uh, okay, bullish for a long time, 1991 to 2000, okay? Almost 10 years, bullish progression, non-stop. You don't want to be bear <laughs> during a bullish. Uh, so if you draw a trend line, you will see that uh, it's a rising channel. In fact, what has happened here, there was uh, a kind of, uh, before we continue with uh, the Elliott wave and the Fibonacci very fast, just to highlight that there was a distortion here. Traders that are following that know that. Uh, diagonal move, okay, and a vertical move, a retracement to the opposite uh, diagonal. So we see a kind of, uh, I will stop my, uh, uh, I will show you here very fast, okay. So if you are new to us, okay, just something you need to know, also very fast, I will color them in blue. Uh, we want to know if uh, there is a distortion or not because uh, sometimes uh, if you can't recognize distortion uh, You can apply the rules wrongly which means you made a lot of mistakes. You want to understand what is a distortion also Okay, waiting for my computer to respond So we see that the price went up and then went vertical the normal progression of the price. Okay, is uh, okay Diagonal progression steadily like this then it goes vertical. We want to watch it carefully if it's going vertical so there was a kind of distortion, which means exaggeration. Doesn't mean manipulation, but exaggeration. Excessive bullish sentiment, okay? So we want to watch, because we know that if it's going vertical, there's a high chance very soon, it will peak, all right? That's what you need to understand, okay? It will peak at one point. So you want to be ready for it. As you see it going vertical, you are securing your gain, uh, because uh, the ladder is now, okay, vertical. Instead of having a diagonal ladder, we have a vertical ladder, all right? But in fact, the movement from here, which I put in red here, this session here, from here to here, I have discounted the week on the top, was, okay, five Elliott wave. You may say to me, where is it? So as Elliott wave trader, you want to see what we call the internal waves. So on this yearly chart from here to here, that's one wave, okay? But this one wave can be divided into five waves, which are sub-waves of this uh, single wave. This is what we call the internal wave. If you want to see the internal wave, we must go to a lower time frame. I will go, for instance, uh, to the monthly chart to see whether I can recognize the internal wave of, uh, okay, the first wave. You see here, this is where my drawing has stopped. You can see that the price went up, look, from here to this level, and then come down. That's, that's the weak session, okay? All right, the antenna on top of the yearly candle, this session here, you see, up and cancel. So that's why I stopped my drawing here. Now if I go back again to the yearly chart, you'll see it. So try to play with different time frame, and you understand, you see, from here to here, the week, you see. So I go back again to the monthly chart because we want to see the internal waves. Here we have seen a five Elliott wave. I will remove my uh, uh, drawing the diagonal and vertical move. I will remove them, and uh, I will draw on this chart the internal wave. Please feel free, okay, to disagree with my count. And I will tell you that this is my count, okay? But it's your right to disagree, okay? So let me draw my line. So from here 
to here and that's the first area wave from here to this level here that's the second okay area wave and then we have hold on a second one i have a reason why i'm saying one okay a two okay moment please ladies and gentlemen stay with me okay a three okay and then we have a, a four i'm going to call out the white line so do not worry i'm going to call out them don't worry i will i am with you okay I understand traders okay so <laughs> don't worry so i'm going to call out them so you can see them clearly on my chart i'll use blue because blue is very clear on this uh on the background of my chart <coughs> moment please uh, okay just finish my coffee now so you can see that i'm a bit excited with uh, coffee all right but uh, okay, let me do it properly because some traders are very straight with me they will say to me george how can you do this okay all right okay now let's move on very fast try to cut my time short not to okay moving on by the way i want to say to trader thank you for your participation because it's very important for us that uh, you comment you rate the videos and we know exactly what you think so we can uh, improve okay so so i was saying to you the first area way from here where my cursor is up to this level here that's the first area way so from 1992 to 1996 first area wave for this uh, okay uh LLTC second wave from here down to this level here okay let's color it into red so you can see the second wave into red and then the third area wave has been divided into five waves from this level here where my cursor is pay attention up to this level here that's the third area wave feel free to disagree with me okay that's the third area wave which has been divided into five small sub waves first wave second wave no. let me start again first sub wave second sub wave third sub wave fourth sub wave okay and the fifth sub wave you, you have to understand that during that time the, it was a tech bible bubbles so a lot of people were buying the tech stock like a mad so to speak and then i have my fourth wave which is very difficult to notice on this chart i will call it uh, <coughs> in peak so that it can be very visible okay see on my chart so from this point down to this point okay that was uh, my uh, a fourth wave and a fifth wave okay is this session up to this point which i'm going to call her now into black as i said to you feel free to disagree with me or to put okay your comment below so that's it so from here to here okay all right First, first wave from here to here, second wave from here to here, and the third wave from here all the way up here has been extended big time because of the bullish sentiment relating to the tech stock, talking about the tech bubbles. It's normal during the bubble period to see the third wave highly extended. And then, okay, the music has changed here, and then the fourth wave, which is the pink one, and the fifth wave, fail to exceed the high of the third wave telling her that the bearish pressure is on can you see it on your chart okay so we have a, a bearish trend line you see this point and this point allow me to draw my uh, bearish trend line which i'm going to call uh, uh which color should i use uh turquoise okay let's try turquoise you can see it okay see this point the top of the third wave and the top of the fifth wave allow me to draw my two look 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 at my beautiful have i removed my line it disappeared now on my chart where is it well, all right magic is happening here let's draw it again <laughs> i don't know what's happened to my, <laughs> my drawing but uh, you see now it happens here in front of us okay let's use a black color this time hopefully maybe it's hiding behind so you see now so with these two point you see how the price is he break it both, come back and retest it on the dot, came back again, retest this one again, and now he's rolling it up. You see, beautiful. With the trend line, we can make excellent decision. Bully zones. So we see that um, 
The first wave on the yearly chart has been divided into five uh, sub waves, okay? And the third sub wave has been divided into five uh, sub waves again. So, what we have seen uh, on the yearly chart, though we can see our internal wave on this yearly chart going back to a lower time frame, now they are very, very clear to us. Another thing I need to mention to traders here is that because we knew what has happened during that time, is you know, you know, with the tech bubble, so we knew in 1999 to 2000, everybody was loading it. Extension, extension, extension. As I show you on the yearly chart, diagonal move, vertical move, retracement to the opposite diagonal. This is what's happened here. I mean, not exactly, but this is what is taking place here. All right? So on the yearly chart, we see one wave, okay? That wave has been divided into five waves. We see the internal wave. We know what's happening now. I will remove all my drawing on this chart, delete all drawings. I'm using TC2000, by the way. So there was one wave on this yearly chart. We see the internal waves now. So I can go back again and draw my first wave like this. When we want to combine the Elliott wave with uh, the Fibonacci, we need to understand the wave part, the wave cycles, the Elliott wave cycle. The Elliott wave cycle is the motive wave plus the corrective phase, the trending phase. So this is from here to here, this is the trending phase. This is the corrective phase. So now we have the price doing something like this, ABC. Pay attention. So I'm going to draw it from here instead of up here. A. Okay. B. Okay. C, all right? So this we will say at this point in time, that's what we can say so far. Let me say that when we are using the way, we don't know what the power will do next. It may come back and come back down here. It may continue the movement with us. But right now, what I'm looking at, without fooling myself, trying to interpret what the price is telling me, this is the second wave, which has which is a corrective phase. Okay. Um now. I will use, um, is green visible? I will use black, okay? Use black uh, to highlight, uh, okay? This is the A corrective phase. A B corrective phase, use pink. And a C corrective phase, I will use blue, okay? But from here to here, that's the second Elliott way. We are expecting this currency, this uh, not currency pair because at the forest all the time. Shut up, George. It's not only about forest, okay? Stock, this is stock. Come on, all right? So LLTC, stock, linear technology corporation, to start the third Elliott wave here. Now, you are getting excited about it, but before you get very, very, very excited, do me a favor. Traders know what I'm going to say. Go to Google Finance. Go, go to Yahoo Finance. Check the fundamental relating to this linear technology. Check Apple stock because this is a tech stock. You want to check the market leaders. Check Google stock. If they are bullish, they are market leaders. Check the, 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 the sector of the techs. Check okay, the fundamentals, the balance sheet, the cash flow. Okay. And if you are satisfied with it, there's without a strong fundamentals, without okay. Uh, a viable okay trading triangle okay we cannot have okay a valid third wave so for this uh, third wave cycle to continue condition must align carefully fundamental must be strong and uh, talking about the, tra the trading triangle everything should align nicely for us which means the s p 500 which is the market itself should be going up if the s p 500 suddenly start going down we will not Yes, we may not have, let's see, we may not have, okay, the third alien wave for this, uh, okay, stop. How do we use the Fibonacci and combine it with uh, alien wave? So we see our second alien wave, so we'll do, we will use Fibonacci uh, retracement, okay? We want to see how far the second wave went down. In this case, you can see it come to the 50%. What is 50%? Okay, TST traders will say to me, George, I know it, the psychological price level. You see, that's what we want. We want you to understand it, to understand it with your head and with your heart, all right? Okay, follow us uh, at George Trio, where I'm tweeting very often, and also at Google+. Plus. Add me to your circle, and uh, 
you know record you follow us uh, okay so this is uh, the 50 percent retracement so the second area wave traders took okay 50 percent of this move so we will expect the price so now we know the first wave now we know the second wave you understand is 50 percent fibonacci retracement level now we want to project okay how far okay okay the third area wave is likely to go using the fibonacci retracement 50 percent the price has a high chance to go to one to seven percent or one five zero percent even to three one four percent do not bet on it that you will definitely stop them you can go to www.248way.com, okay? Just click on Wave Genius, where I explain to trader the projection of a channel that can help us to know, okay, how far the third area will go. But in this case, I will use, okay, Fibonacci extension. All right? Fibonacci extensions. So we will put on our chart that our first target zone is 1 to 7% which I will call out in red so we don't miss it, okay? The second target is 138%. These are conservative, okay? You will see some pop-up coming on my screen again. And uh, the second target is, uh, these, are, these are just the, the 1 to 7 and 138.2% uh, Fibonacci, um, okay? Extension zone, these are conservative target zone for the third area wave provided that the market itself is bullish otherwise it's just blah 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 so the market first the sector before the individual financial instrument the heart of the trading triangle ladies and gentlemen is what we are seeing to traders all the time so you can trade like a pro you are flexible you are adapting to the current market sentiment you follow the market cycle you don't do your own thing it's, i'm not saying that it's impossible for a stock to to uh, to back trend the market it's it's Possible. You will see that very often when we are talking about uh, the healthcare sector. Some stock will, will trade against uh, okay, the current market, but very often we want to align it with the market. Okay? If you see a stock trend, trending against the market, you want to manage it carefully. Okay? It is not impossible, but very often they follow the market. So our first target zones is this zone here, around 60 system okay so you hear some analysts saying to you that this stock is bullish it's likely to go to the system all right but nothing if the sentiment is very bullish if the market is very very bullish if suddenly a bullish a bullish uh, okay side has begun for the s p 500 above one six four five as i put on our youtube channel www.youtube.com for slide your trio because we have two channels you are watching here at two four area wave www.youtube.com for forward for slash two four area wave there's another channel www.youtube.com for slide your trio and we ask you to trade it. The level we want to work for S&P 500 is at 1645. I'm speaking fast because I don't want the video to be too long. So the next target, if the S&P 500 finds support above 1645, there's a high chance that we may see a bullish cycle, if that's possible. If the economy in the United States is bullish, if uh, the global economy is recovering very well, okay, there is a high chance that we may have a bullish cycle. But that remains to be seen. If the music has changed, what? The dance also must change. Do not assume anything, but trade like a professional trader, following the price itself, the number one indicator. So by determining the first wave and the second wave, we can use our Fibonacci extension to determine, okay, the target zone for the third area wave, okay, even the whole cycle. All right? Another thing that I want to point out here, how we can use Fibonacci area wave, here we can see that the price, there was an uptrend, and then the price went out like this, okay? We want to know, okay, all right, the retracement, okay. Once we know the retracement, as I'm drawing here, you see that I, I start drawing from here, okay. My drawing on the Fibonacci was from here to here. Going to the mind of other traders, some trader will push it all the way to the top of the week because the price were there. So you want to go into the mind of other traders, okay, to know what these traders, okay, are trading. Trading is becoming more like a, a mind game and you want to, okay, also okay he play the mind games okay very very important so here with the internal wave of the first wave and the second wave we can focus what is likely to happen okay to this uh, stock which are, is the video before this one okay 
okay on our channel okay i was telling you how to forecast the market okay uh, with the internal wave here well, let's go back again for traders that are new to us it's a bit advanced uh, okay which are called advanced trading tips if my recollection is correct advanced trading tips now we see the internal wave of the first wave which i show you here okay once we know the first wave and the second wave we can forecast okay the whole area wave cycle that is likely to take place okay on the yearly chart of this stock because on the yearly time frame here we have the first wave from here to here and the second wave from here to here with these two waves okay we can forecast what this stock is likely to do all right we can forecast it according to the internal wave of uh, the first wave here which we have seen on the monthly chart pay attention carefully ladies and gentlemen there is a high chance we may have a very extended third area wave on the yearly chart for this uh, stock and a very tiny fourth wave followed by okay another okay fifth wave that could not exceed the fifth uh, the high of the third wave so this is what we can forecast with the internal wave that we have seen for the first wave on the yearly chart. So, the internal wave of the first wave on the yearly chart, which we, uh, we can see on the monthly chart here, we are now on the monthly chart. The monthly chart revealed to us the third in the wave is extended, okay? In fact, the, the fifth wave, the internal fifth wave, couldn't exceed the high of the third wave. So, what does it mean? It means to us that uh, if you go to the yearly chart, and the third in your wave okay is truly strong this stock has a high chance to exceed our conservative expectation even going into the zone of a three one four percent extension zone okay we can we can measure it okay all right we can measure it we can forecast it okay but we will not as, uh, impose our expectation on the market but is there's a high chance if we have a bullish cycle if the market is bullish that this stock, the third in your wave may be highly extended. Another information that we know from the internal wave that the fifth wave, okay, has a high chance, okay, to fail to exceed the high of the third in your wave. With the Fibonacci extensions, we can set target zone with, uh, okay, uh, and for our uh, wave. So we can combine the area wave and the Fibonacci extension okay to set a target zone exit strategy okay and also to manage our trade at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen this is a technical analysis one must use the trading triangle meaning that we must pay attention to the S&P 500 then the sector to which the stock or the financial instrument belongs to before we come back to the stock itself everything that we have said is a conditional okay on the S&P 500 and the trading triangle the third in your way will not be okay uh, strong if we do not have a strong fundamental or a bullish uh, cycles for those who are TSTWS 008 traders you may like to put this stock on your watch list okay in order to participate in the okay eventual uh, a third in your way going back again to the uh, this chart on the monthly chart I can remove all my drawing against okay I can remove all my drawings and I will uh, I want to measure okay all right how far the okay the third in your wave went to okay the internal wave the internal third in your wave on the monthly chart okay let, let me explain myself to you we see that uh, the first in your wave was from 1992 somewhere here okay boom so from here to here, that's why I was telling you that it's the first in first wave, okay? The first wave, the first internal wave. Are you following me? Are you following me? Let me do it for new traders. I know experienced traders understand what I'm saying. For the new traders, don't get confused. From here, all the way here on the yellow chart, this is the first wave. But this first wave on the yellow chart can be divided into five small waves. Now we can only see that uh, five, those are five small waves on another lower time frame. Now I'm using, okay, the monthly chart. I explained to you also already the five small waves within that first wave on the monthly chart. So this is the first small wave. 
and the second small wave is the one pulling down to this level. I want to know how much retracement was, okay, the second, okay, Elliott wave, the second small wave, okay, I want to know how much retracement it is. You need to pay attention carefully, otherwise, if you have any question, put it below and I'll answer it, okay. So this move from here to here is how much retracement, okay, I want to know, all right. Is also, let me check it carefully, 23%, 38.2, 50%. Look, look at the 50%. You see? The price did below the 50% to go a bit, uh, you will see very often, the price will go below, this is the 50% on this monthly chart. For the internal waves, look, that's the 50 Price did below it to retest the 61, only to close above it. Look at that. So it's quite a harmonious pattern because the first wave, the, the second wave has retraced only 50%, deep a bit below it here. Look on the yearly chart also. Again, same scenario. On the yearly chart, look, it went up where it went to. This is 50% zone, yes or no? You remember when I draw it? It's also 50% zone, okay? From here to here, the retracement is also 50%. Look, on the internal wave again, the same ratio applies. 50% again, here, yeah, down 50%. Now I know this is a 50%, I know where the third area we went to on these uh, internal waves, I want to know, I want to focus the next bigger third wave. All right, let's remove my lines again. So to do that, I need to use my Fibonacci extensions. Okay, I need to be very, very careful here. That's it. We went into, it went above, okay? 261, 3.4. In fact, um, <laughs> hold on please. I want to do something here. One, okay? So I'm using the range of the first well. This is quite advanced uh, Elliott wave and Fibonacci trading. And uh, traders should pay attention carefully. Traders that are following us should understand what I'm trying to do here. But traders that are new may not okay, follow me. But you can replay the video and you will understand what I'm trying to do here. I have a measurement stick here which I'm moving. This will allow me to quantify how far the price went to. Okay. I will explain everything to you when I finish. I'm just drawing now. I have a measurement. This uh, measurement is okay, just okay. The, the the range of the first wave. It went up from here up to this level. That's the range. So I'm just moving it, projecting it up. That's what I'm doing now. Are you following me? I hope so. Okay. But if you are not sure, contact me, please. Okay or ask question below. Beautiful, beautiful progression. You see the bubble, this is a bubble. When people are buying, 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 buying in the morning, buying in the evening, buying in the night, just buy, buy, buy. Don't care about the fundamental until the music has changed. It's like a bulls were very drunk from 1999 to 2000. The tech bubble, people were buying, buying, buying. Grandmothers, grandfathers, children, grandchildren, everybody were buying, okay, easy money. They were just buying, buying, buying. And but the market corrected itself big time here. So I want to count my projection, okay? So this is the 200% projection because this is 100%. The move from here to here is the 100% of the first wave. So 200%, 300%, okay? 400%, 500%. 600%, 700%, 800%. We have 800%, okay, Fibonacci, okay, projection zone. That's where it ended. All right, that's a bit too much. Are we going to have another bubble? I don't think so, all right? So for the yearly chart, we will not expect, okay, 800 projection of the first wave. I will think of 200% only, okay? So we will, we are not likely to have another bubble. 
where this will repeat, this stock will repeat eight times the range of the first wave. I will be very conservative and say to myself, at least 200% Fibonacci, okay, okay, uh, projection of the channel, uh, this is the channel, I'm talking about the range of the channel. If I remove my line on the yearly chart, I will show you what I'm talking about, the projection of the channel. Go to www.24iliawave, click on, okay, wave genius, and you understand what I'm trying to do here. Now, moment please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I'm talking about the range of the first wave. I want to delete all my line on the yearly chart, and I will draw... A line, you see the range, you see the range, the range of the first wave on the yearly chart. If you think this is a complicated matter, it is not, okay? Step by step, okay? You will understand. So, the first wave on the yearly chart went from here to this level. That's the range. If the third yearly wave breaks above this blue line here, we will project the equal size of this channel. All right? So, that will be our greediest target. So the best way for those who are using TC2000 like myself, because I know, I want to show you how you do it easily. You start drawing from below, and then you move it. This is the range. You see the size. This is the size of the first wave. It went up from here to this level. This is the size. So I have this line. I'll color into red so you can see it clearly on your chart also. All right, okay. Let's zoom into the chart a bit, okay. All right, the best way to play our video is to enlarge it because these are, okay, high definition video. Don't be afraid to enlarge the video. Click on the enlarge button to see the bigger, okay, uh, video, okay? So we will move it now and put it on top. That will give us, okay, the greediest targets, okay, <laughs> for this, uh, okay, uh, uh, stock, linear technology. So we may say the first, conservative target in a zone of 60%, the egregious target in a zone of 90% that remain to be seen. These are projections. Depending on the market cycle, the market sentiment, okay, the economy, okay, uh, environment, okay, very, very important, okay. So this is about how we can combine, okay, the Elliott Wave principle and Fibonacci. I hope you have enjoyed this video, that you will put it to use, okay, to cream the market consistently. We are the TSTW, S0, 0, 08 traders. Speak to you soon.